Hi everyone, uh, my name is Silvia Mudig. I'm a member of the European Parliament and also the chair for the Finnish Library Association. Um, I wish we could meet physically and be present at the same place, but as it is not possible, I am very grateful that I still have the opportunity to participate in this way. Um, libraries are extremely important for me personally, but also for the Finnish society. Throughout the political uh, uh, field, whether which party is concerned, all see the importance of libraries for our society, for the society we call a welfare state. And we see that libraries is a fundamental element in a welfare state. They play a huge role in different ways. They promote reading, lifelong, lifelong learning, and equal access to sources of information, which is important for the well-being of us all and for equal society with equal opportunities. I remember getting my first uh, library card. I always say that this card is uh, worth more than my credit card, because this one just keeps giving. And behind this card, I have the Helsinki, my hometown city library, but as the cities uh, around Helsinki has uh, joined forces, I have over 3 million books behind this card. So it's much more valuable than my credit card. Um, and as we know, the earlier a child becomes acquainted to the world of books, the earlier and the more a child reads, the more likely he or she, as an adult, will also read and also use the libraries. And that is why we must always focus on the new generation, the next generation, and make them library lovers as well. We know that libraries can help increase literacy among not only children, but adolescents too. Libraries also provide important support for students who don't have the needs to buy, for example, university or college books. And so libraries have a huge socio-economic role as well. Beginning from the early childhood, in Finland we have seen that the cooperation between the school system and the libraries also maintains that those from poorer backgrounds learn to visit the library and benefit from the services. It evens down the differences in our backgrounds. Libraries can also help language minorities and groups by offering news and literature in different languages. They offer immigrants easily accessible services. In my hometown, we have found that a really good place to get in contact with new Finnish people, with newcomers moving into the country, is the library. And there we can get in contact with them and therefore have a contact with them in all of the society. They also support language learning and they are open spaces, free spaces, and easy access to information sources for all. And the most important thing is that they are free. And this is something we try to develop. We try to show our youth that if you want to go on a Friday night to hang out in the city, why not meet at the library and hang out there? Uh, but libraries do not offer only books. They provide free information and free space. The importance of libraries as common workspace and meeting places for citizens cannot be underestimated. And this role is ever growing. The space has to be accessible for everyone. Open workspaces, group rooms, lecture halls, quiet spaces are open to all, no matter what background or income. You can use the spaces that libraries offer, uh, whether you are a beginning musician, a member of the youth organization, or a working freelancer. This social space is key to the functioning of a good free civil society. Um, our proudest project uh, in the last years in Finland, in Helsinki, is our new central library called Oodi. It means old, and it's an old to literacy, it's an old to freedom, and it's an old to welfare. And it was uh, quite amazing that we were able to do a decision, a political decision, to make a hundred million euros investment for a new library 
during years which the economy, economy was uh, going down and there were cuts made everywhere, but still Finland wanted in the year 2017 when we celebrated our independence, 100 years of independence, uh, the government at that time wanted us to celebrate that independence by building a new library. Um, Audit has, for example, a cinema, a multi-purpose hall, studios, game rooms, urban workshops, work and meeting rooms, and group work facilities, recording studio, group kitchen, and own interactive exhibition space dedicated to learn about the European Union. Uh, and Audit is our answer for what we see, what the library could and should be in the future. The law on libraries, the Library Act, was reviewed a couple of years ago in Finland, and the first time the law states uh, that one um, mission and task for the libraries is to promote democracy. And Audi is also our answer to this. Um, for example, in the last elections, Audi was the main space for political debates. So we want to bring politics also into the libraries, but we have to do it in a way that it doesn't exclude anybody. But I, as a politician, can organize a conversation in the library, but I cannot do it alone, because then it would be promoting my political view and my political party. But if I come together with uh, two or three other politicians from different parties, together we can organize an event, because then it's not one person's opinion or one political party's uh, message you are promoting, then you're having a discussion with the civil society. When our government uh, uh, wanted to release uh, their newest government program, they made it in the central library Audi. So for us, Audi is a um, symbol of democracy. And it's also located in the center of Helsinki, right opposite to the parliament building, which is an excellent symbol of democracy and of the power of the people. The library's importance for literacy is undeniable, but in today's world, as digitalization moves forward, their role is more important than ever. In the beginning of digitalization, libraries offered access to free internet, use and guidance on how to use it and how to search information online. Nowadays, libraries offer courses on how to use digital devices. In Finland, libraries are the largest provider of digital support for citizens, enabling a digital transition where no one is left behind. As digitalization gains ground, the need for media literacy is increasing. Social media has brought a new way of communication. It has uh, brought a new way of democracy, and it has brought a lot of good with it. But it has uh, also brought us the challenge of media literacy. Um, social media has improved and strengthened democracy by enabling a broad civil dialogue without gatekeepers, and that is good. But it has also challenged us. Fake news spreads and deliberate disinformation is disseminated. The ability for citizens to, to, to distinguish truth from lies is tested globally. The best way, and probably the only way, to fight lies is the truth. Here, libraries play a significant role. Knowledge is our best tool for guaranteeing factual civil dialogue. The internet has made, internet has made knowledge accessible for all, but does not help in processing that information. Libraries can answer to this challenge. As digitalization progresses, traditional reading is decreasing, especially among boys, and this we must pay special attention to. The library can be a place where a child first becomes acquainted with the wonderful world of books and reading, and the more a person reads the child, the more likely he will read as an adult. The libraries of the future should no longer be seen as places where we passively receive information, but as places of democracy, spaces that enable information, encounter and debate with civil society. The library of the future will transform us from passive users into active producers, 
as the library gives us a space to produce our part to the society. Research shows that libraries also have a positive effect on the economy. Oxford Research investigated the financial effects of libraries on behalf of the Finnish Library Association. The, the, the report states that one euro for libraries generate about four euros for the economy. Similar results have been found in Denmark, Norway, Great Britain, and Spain. So, however, the cost of libraries, for example, in Finland, is only a very, very, very small percentage of the expenditure of the municipal economy. When we are worried about inequality, discrimination, and, for example, declining literacy, we must bear in mind that investment in libraries pays back in many ways, also in an economic way. That is why it's worth investing in public libraries. They contribute to the well-being of all citizens and the whole of society. They enable active citizenship and support democratic free society. Libraries are for all of us and they are used by all social classes, thereby strengthening equality. In order for them to remain as such in a changing world, it is necessary to invest in them and boldly renew them to meet the needs of today. So I thank you all for your work for the libraries and therefore for the equality and freedom of the people. And I encourage you to defend the libraries and be bold to demand investments in libraries as they are investments in us, in our well-being and in our future. Thank you.